Hey everybody, it's uh, Tuesday and I'm ready to shave. Uh, got a mail call yesterday, real quick. Um, all the way from the UK, I got a US soap um, from the shave station, I think is what it's called. Um, but they had a killer deal, um, buy, sell, trade. It was three tubs of Reef Point soaps and I got it for $40. It was a misprint, it was supposed to be $45. Still at $45, it was a deal and I know a couple other people got in on it. But that was including shipping from the UK and it came pretty quick overall. I got espresso, which I'd smelt this before, and I just really, really dug the scent. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to use probably more in the fall. It's kind of like, you know, there's something about it that kind of makes me think, but I, it can be used year round. It's just it's got a scent that just makes me think of that kind of uh, mentality there. Earl Grey and ginger. I've been dying to get this, and this scent is just fantastic. Get into more of that as I use it, obviously. It's one that when I, met, when I smelled it at PAA, I said that will be a soap I will get someday. And Admiralty. Um, this is a soap when I first smelt it at PAA. With all the other smells, I honestly couldn't really pick much up on this. But now that I, you know, have it and I'm not inundated by a whole bunch of other, uh, you know, oil soaps, all that stuff, it really stands out. And it, uh, at least initially, it gives me pro a lot of promise. Where before I would have probably never bought it, it was. With those two, and I figured I'll get those two. If I don't like it, I can piff it or you know something like that. I'll probably end up keeping it. We'll see. So, Commander Respect today. Uh, keep it on my summer series. And it's, you know, perfect name. Honestly, I think in the shape community, we just need to respect each other. We have differences of opinions, but just respect each other. I'm going to compare that with the Sapanoficio Veracino 70th Anniversary uh, Milk. I'm going to use my uh, Tory Razor. It was honed by the stallion. And then I'm gonna do a head shave, I'm gonna use my injector. And then I got a brush back, the Plasson, first generation Plasson. And we'll get into that in a second as I start to load up. Wet the brush, shake it off a little bit. Let's go to town. Oh, this tub's been used a lot. My first order with the uh, Soap Commander was this and, uh, and Passion. So it's one been used a lot. Um, yeah, the Plasson. Um, the brush I haven't had for months. I loaned it out to a woman in town to try out and kept asking for it back. And she kept forgetting and forgetting. I gave her an artist shaving, like one of those real small little bore brushes or badger brushes that come with their kits somebody had given me um, as a Christmas gift. And then I gave her, I forget what other brush, um, something I wasn't using. Um, oh, it was an Omega that was extremely floppy. Mainly because I want to get this back. Not that I really enjoy this brush, but there was something I want to do. And I want to, I got to finalize the details of how I'm going to do this, but I want to do a backbone video and compare backbones. And I've got an idea of how it might be able to measure um, quantitatively the backbone of brushes. Should be plenty of soap. To me, just the Plasson is, is floppy, but obviously it's been months. And, oh yeah, exactly what I remember. It just immediately, you can't load or lather with the tips on this brush. It's not possible. It just immediately collapses. Super, super soft. This is uh, a brush that I would use if I have a really irritated face. Because obviously you can still face lather with this and not have any you know pain on your face you know it won't it won't interfere because really honestly there's not much going on there it does build a good lather it does you know load surprisingly even with harder soaps really really well for a soap that has zero backbone in my opinion it does real well it's just not the not the brush that i enjoy but i wanted to use it again it's good it's been so long just to kind of see if what my memories were correct because honestly I've gotten so many different brushes since then that it, I just couldn't remember exactly what I thought of it other than I, I recalled it being floppier but but man it is extremely soft and as you can see built a lather really fast obviously it's also doing a really good soap as well so 
But I think that's what impresses me most about it is that for an extremely soft, floppy brush, it somehow is able to load hard soaps really, really easy. Elm on my finger, let's go to town. Trying to check uh, face, but obviously I got a little uh, on my hands. Just wanted to see where uh, how the overall face felt. Very nice. Don't really want to go over a spot without any uh, soap there. I'm really glad I'm using the soap today too because I was out in the sun for about six hours last night at work. I was I was under a sunshade by the aircraft, but yet you still never know um, how much exposure you got. So I'm just really happy that uh, I'm using a soap that I know really agrees with my face. I was going to use the uh, the wedge today, but I decided to uh, last minute I picked this up. Put it through its paces on the strop, and here I am. I got this for like $31 off of eBay. Funny part is that uh, I bought it from some people. It ended up being up in uh, in Mesa, so you're talking 90 minutes to two hour drive away from where I'm at. And then I had to get shipped all the way across the country to Rhode Island to be uh, to be honed. Well, that's where I ended up shipping it. So. First pass in the books. Overall, not bad. Got a pretty good edge on this razor. Definitely a lighter razor. Um, when I get my scale battery replaced, I do want to kind of weigh these to feel what the weight difference is. It's kind of interesting. I do like the a little more substantial weight feel overall. Um, 
Plus, I know obviously then gravity gets to play more of a role as well, to my understanding, with the uh, the weight of the blade doing more work. These are day 18 or 19, I forget which. You can see the chatter there. It's just a spot that, honestly, it, it tends to give a lot of razors, even a brand new DE blade, a lot of trouble. Oh, thank everybody for all the encouraging words too. There's been a lot of people who have uh, put an on the wrong dang hand as I'm about to switch. Um, just been really supportive, um, a lot of nice things to say. As I take on straight razors. Overall, I'm pretty pleased. I'm going to do a third pass. It's one of those cases where the Toa just does such a great job that I don't really need to do that across the grain against the grain pass. I'm just finding with uh, stellar razors that I just typically end up needing it to get equal.
I definitely prefer the uh, south to north pass on my face overall, on the neck area, I mean. Switch it up. I really love soap kind of respect to it. It's got a, a nice lime scent. To me, it's a great soap to start somebody off on. Especially for somebody, uh, you know, a lot of married guys we got used to when I was married, all the womenly scent, you know, sweet scents like that, so you're kind of more used to it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up, shave my head, and I'm not noticing any weepers at the moment, but uh, I'll be back after my head shave and I'll wrap up. Alright, I'm back. Uh, Integrity Bomb's been on my face. My head shave, one pass with just some water touch ups, I just used water, onto the Saponificio Verasino 70th. So Liam, I was watching his video, uh, Liam Hannon from the UK, um, about a week ago, and that inspired me to use this scent today. Overall, very nice shave. A um, little rough here, but not bad, not like, little, there's a little hair left on that jawline, or the neckline there where it transitions. Neck's not perfect but it's very nice and then once again i still miss this spot even with touch-ups right through there from about there to there small little patch a little bit on the point of the chin but overall very nice and comfortable shave the uh, the tori did real well um still can't compare the toa to me at least um but obviously it could just be getting used to the blade as well so that's what i got everybody um Hope you enjoyed. Uh, God bless everyone. And just please try to remain positive about everything and just enjoy life. Um, and enjoy those around you. If there's negativity around you, push it aside and just move on. So God bless and we'll see you tomorrow.